Have you ever wondered what could happen to the value of the US dollar in the future? That's a question that has been on the minds of economists and financial experts for quite some time now. The US dollar has long been the world's primary reserve currency. That means it's the currency most used by other nations to conduct their international trade and to hold in their foreign exchange reserves. It's like the gold standard of currencies, if you will. When you think about currency, you think about the dollar. But the world is changing. The economic landscape is shifting. The tectonic plates of global finance are moving, and the dollar's dominance is being challenged. In the past, Western economies have been the driving force behind the global economy. They've been the leaders, the innovators, the powerhouses, but that's no longer the case. Non-Western economies are rising fast, they're growing, they're expanding, and they're starting to flex their financial muscles. Countries like China, India, and Brazil, among others, are becoming more and more influential in the global economy. Their economic growth rates are outpacing those of many Western nations. They're becoming major players in international trade. And as their economies grow, so does their financial power. What does all of this mean for the US dollar? That's the big question. If the economic balance shifts away from the West and towards these rising non-Western economies, could the dollar lose its status as the world's primary reserve currency? Could we see a future where the dollar is no longer king? These are questions that we can't answer definitively right now, but they're questions that we need to think about, to ponder, to prepare for, because the future of the dollar could shape the future of the global economy. In the following scenes, we'll delve into the economic trajectories of Western and non-Western countries and how these could potentially impact the future of the US dollar. The economic influence of Western countries has been waning over the past few decades. This statement, while stark, paints a picture of the current global economic landscape. Several factors contribute to this decline and today, we'll take a closer look at these elements. Firstly, the aging populations in the West. Countries like Italy, Germany, and Japan are witnessing a demographic shift where the older population is growing significantly, while the younger population is shrinking. This trend puts immense pressure on the economies as the burden of social security and healthcare expenses increases, while the productive workforce declines. Second, the debt levels. Western countries, especially the United States, are mired in debt. In the year 2023, the U.S. national debt surpassed the country's gross domestic product, a trend that, if continued, poses a grave threat to its economic stability. Thirdly, stagnating productivity. Since the turn of the millennium, numerous Western economies have been grappling with a slowdown in productivity growth. Despite technological advancements, the output per hour worked hasn't seen a substantial increase. This stagnation is a massive concern because productivity is a key driver of economic growth. Now consider this. While the West is grappling with these economic challenges, the East is experiencing a shift in economic power. Countries like China and India are becoming economic powerhouses. Their growing influence on the global stage is undeniable, and it's reshaping the world's economic order. This shift from West to East isn't just a matter of geographical relocation of economic power. It represents a fundamental change in the way the world economy operates. It's a shift from a Western-centric economic model, characterized by free markets and liberal democracies, to a more diverse multipolar world where non-Western countries play a significant role. Now that we have observed the decline of the West, let's turn our attention to the rise of non-Western countries. As we continue our discussion, we'll delve into how this shift in global economic power is impacting the purchasing power of the US dollar. Non-Western countries, particularly in Asia and Africa, have experienced unprecedented economic growth in the last few decades. This isn't just a casual observation, but a seismic shift in the global economic landscape. Let's delve into why this is happening. One significant factor is population growth. Countries like India and Nigeria are seeing their populations skyrocket, and with this rise comes an increasing demand for goods and services, boosting their domestic economies. But it's not just about numbers. These countries are also capitalizing on technological advancements. The digital revolution has allowed these economies to leapfrog traditional development stages. We're talking about places where banking infrastructures were once scarce, and now, thanks to mobile technology, millions are able to access financial services. Innovation is not confined to the tech sector. Industries from manufacturing to agriculture are being transformed by new technologies, driving productivity and growth. Add to this the wave of economic reforms sweeping across these regions. 
Governments are working to create more favorable business environments, promoting entrepreneurship, and attracting foreign investments. China, for instance, has embraced economic liberalization and reforms, catapulting it from a largely agrarian economy to the world's second largest economy in a few short decades. But what does all this mean for the global stage? Well, these rising economies are starting to challenge the dominance of the US dollar. The Chinese yuan and the Indian rupee, among others, are growing in influence. Countries are increasingly trading in their local currencies, bypassing the US dollar. This shift could undermine the dollar's status as the world's reserve currency, a position it has held unchallenged for over seven decades. In essence, the rise of non-Western economies isn't just reshaping their local landscapes, but also redefining the global economic order. As we've seen, the economic trajectories of Western and non-Western countries are moving in opposite directions. But what does this mean for the future of the US dollar? Well, stay tuned as we explore that in the next scene. The shifts in global economic power will inevitably have an impact on the US dollar. It's like a game of seesaw. As the weight of non-Western economies rises, the dominance of the US dollar could potentially tilt downwards. This isn't just speculation, but an outcome molded by the hands of economic trends and geopolitical shifts. The US dollar has enjoyed its status as the world's primary reserve currency for nearly a century. It's the go-to currency for international trade, the safe haven in times of global economic uncertainty. But as the balance of global economic power shifts, this status could be under threat. Consider this. If the economies of the East and the South continue to grow and outpace those of the West, it's only logical that their currencies would gain more prominence in global trade. Transactions would increasingly be conducted in these currencies, reducing the demand for the US dollar. And as we all know, lower demand often translates to lower value. Furthermore, the rise of non-Western economies may also lead to a diversification of global currency reserves. Central banks around the world, in an attempt to minimize risk, could start holding a more balanced mix of currencies. This would mean less reliance on the US dollar, again potentially diminishing its global dominance. But let's not ignore the elephant in the room, the possibility of the dollar losing its status as the world's primary reserve currency. It's a scenario that could send shockwaves through the global economic landscape, the US would lose the exorbitant privilege of being able to borrow cheaply in its own currency, and the value of the dollar could plummet. The future of the dollar is uncertain, but these economic trends suggest a potential decline in its global dominance. The changes on the horizon may be gradual, but the impact could be profound. As we journey into this brave new world, it's crucial to keep our eyes on the shifting sands of economic power. To sum up, the economic trajectories of Western and non-Western countries could have significant implications for the future of the US dollar. Let's take a moment to revisit the key points we've explored in this discussion. We've looked at the decline of Western economies, a trend that's been gathering momentum for some time now. This decline is not a sudden occurrence but rather a gradual shift, fueled by factors such as aging populations, growing public debt, and the outsized role of financial services in these economies. Parallel to this, we've seen the rise of non-Western economies. Countries in Asia, Africa, and Latin America are experiencing rapid economic growth, driven by factors such as demographic dividends, technological advancements, and robust domestic demand. These emerging economies are not just growing, they are also becoming more integrated into the global economic system, influencing the rules of the game. These dual dynamics, the decline of the West and the rise of the rest, are reshaping the global economic landscape, and at the heart of this transformation is the US dollar, the world's dominant reserve currency. So what does all this mean for the future of the dollar? Well as we've discussed, the economic strength of a country is a key determinant of its currency's purchasing power. As Western economies slow down and non-Western economies surge ahead, the relative strength of the dollar could diminish. This could potentially lead to a decrease in the dollar's purchasing power, meaning you may get less bang for your buck in the future. But it's important to remember that these trends are not set in stone. They're influenced by a host of factors, from geopolitical events to technological breakthroughs to policy decisions. And the dollar, with its deep-rooted status in the global economy, has a resilience that should not be underestimated. Only time will tell what the future holds for the US dollar but one thing is clear, the world economy is changing, and with it, the balance of financial power. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and comment. 
Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to keep up with the latest content.